I had a friend who was very much I considered like a sister. Um, she's probably the only adult friendship I've had where I've literally fallen out with like ever completely. Yeah. Which is really crazy because we were like family. Yeah. And that's very, very hard. It was like mm-hmm. a messy divorce. It was really, really weird. Um, mm-hmm. But the thing is, and then, you know, we, we posted about this the other day, like somebody's not calling you because they owe you an apology. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we all reposted it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Repost. <laughs> Repost. <laughs> you know, yeah. and it's interesting because to your point, it's like I can look at this person and say, this person was a good friend to me, but then I can also look at the ways and be like, they weren't a good friend to me, but also still have compassion for the fact that like, I actually don't think that you intended to hurt me, Mm -hmm. but I actually know so much about you that I have compassion for the way that you don't even see yourself Mm -hmm. operating in this life. Mm -hmm. So that has actually helped me make peace with letting go of the anger. I think I felt towards her for many years because I definitely felt so hurt and I was like, no, you knew what you were doing. And then after I was like, wait a second, you know this person intimately, very, very closely. You know why they operate like that. This is not just you, they do this with everybody. So it really allowed for me to make peace with that. And like, even through the hardest parts and the, Mm -hmm. the realities that came to surface of that relationship, as much as I could still feel hurt, I don't feel angry. Mm. Yeah. 